Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Today we're going to talk about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. With it being Autism Month, we're going to discuss spectrum disorders. No, not like that. I mean spectrum disorders like ADHD, autism, schizophrenia, and how everyone on these spectrums experience them differently. So grab your fruit, snacks, your favorite caffeinated drink, and settle in because we're about to dive in. But before we do that, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and tag that bell so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. I'll wait. No pressure. Alright, first, let's clear up a misconception. A spectrum is not a straight line from mild to severe. Compared to that description, it would be more accurate to say that it's like a bunch of spaghetti noodles thrown against the wall, with each noodle representing the different experience of the disorder. Just because someone may be milder on the spectrum doesn't mean they don't struggle with their disorder every day. It's all relative, people. A more common visual aid that many of us have seen and likely taken the test to get that is the circle graph with each color of each section representing things like eye contact, social difficulties, depression, and more. While this is a far better presentation, I'm going to show you what I think is the absolute best representation of a spectrum condition by far. As it is currently Autism Acceptance Month at the time of this recording, we're going to use autism as the example, but this same demonstration can apply to the other conditions as well. I cannot take credit for this concept. I first saw this from a friend of mine, Dr. Anson Service, the neurodivergent doctor, an actual diagnostician and fellow autistic, and I thought it was the most brilliant representation of a spectrum condition I had ever seen. I'll tag him below. Definitely check out some of his videos if you want to learn some stuff. Naturally, I'm going to add my own twist onto this, but imagine if you can that these are some of the traits of autism. Things like stims and fidgets, social abilities, eye contact, noise sensitivity, you get the idea. Now, as you can see, some of these autistic traits are more pronounced up at the front, whereas some of them are less noticeable further to the back, and others are hidden in the middle. As is common with spectrum conditions, numerous factors can impact this, such as stress, anxiety, environment, constantly shaking things up. Now, let's talk about masking and stick with me, it'll make sense. This is when someone with a spectrum disorder learns to suppress their natural behaviors in order to fit in with society's expectations. Basically, it's like wearing a mask all the time to hide who you truly are. And let's face it, society doesn't always appreciate those quirky behaviors that come naturally to people on the spectrum. So they learn to suppress them in order to avoid judgment. Getting back to our candy jar, in my mind, masking is a lot like forcing, for example, the red stims, orange eye contact, and blue noise sensitivity pellets to all turn green, or at least wear little green wrappers to give the appearance of enhanced social abilities. That's kind of how I imagine it anyway. But here's the thing, folks. Masking takes a toll on a person. It's a lot like wearing a tight corset all day, every day. It's uncomfortable and it can even be harmful. So let's take a moment to appreciate all those unique quirks of a person on a spectrum. Let's celebrate their differences instead of trying to fit them into a predetermined mold or turn all their skittles green. Of course, some people, like myself, have both ADHD and autism, which can make things even more interesting. It's important to remember that everyone is unique and experiences these conditions differently. If you met one person with ADHD or autism, then you know one person with ADHD or autism. Everybody is a unique individual with their own set of quirks and strengths and challenges. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Tyler, what's the point of all of this? Why should I care about spectrum conditions? Well, my friend, the point is simple. April is Autism Acceptance Month, and we need to raise awareness, understanding, and acceptance of these conditions. We need to break down the stigmas that surround them and create a more accepting society. So here's your call to action, my friends. The next time you encounter someone on the spectrum, take a moment to appreciate their uniqueness. Don't judge them or try to fit them into some predetermined mold. Instead, celebrate their differences and learn from them. And who knows, you might even make a new friend in the process. So, in summation, 
Spectrum disorders are complex and everyone experiences them differently. Masking is harmful and we need to appreciate the individuality of those on the spectrum. Let's break down the stigma and create a more accepting society. Well, if you've made it this far, let me know some of your thoughts on spectrum disorders in the comments below. Or if you really want to mess with everybody else, comment an emoji of your favorite color. And if you've learned something today or found this informative or entertaining, don't forget to subscribe, tag that bell, and hit the like button. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Until next time, drink your water, take your meds, and be kind to yourself. I'll see you next time.